Um, instead, we need to add an extra line underneath here. And basically what this uh, line is going to do is it's going to set a request header and we're going to alter the content type of, um, of when we submit. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and write this out. So we're going to say XML HTTP dot set request header. So it's almost like the header function in PHP. Um, but this time what we're doing is we're specifying two parameters. Um, for the first one, we're saying content type. And then we're setting the content type in here. And this is application forward slash X www. And then it's... Um, a hyphen again and um, we're gonna say form hyphen URL encoded okay so this is basically saying we're sending for, uh, form data through uh, as a post and we specified post here remember now this isn't actually gonna work as it stands because we need to predefine some parameters that we want to send and remember the parameter that we want to send is the value of this text here so let's go ahead and create a variable called parameters uh, and we're going to equal that to something and then we're going to append something on the end and the something here is what we want to be read as the post um, variable name so I'm going to say this is text and then I'm going to say that's equal to something so what we can actually do is we can actually set this now to hello for example and um, we need to send these parameters through. Now, this looks like get data by, by saying text equals hello. We can also say and something equals uh, hello too or something like that. You know, we can send uh, limited post variables through here. However, now we need to find a way to send these parameters through to our update.ink.php because at the moment we've just put them into a variable. What we need to do is we need to actually put it into the um, argument of this send function here so we're going to say parameters in there so what this is going to do now is it's going to open this update.ink.php file ready to post post data we're sending uh, we're changing the content type of the page so we can submit the post data successfully and then we're sending the parameters through to the page and that's about it that should work so because I've specified this post data as hello the post um, variable name is text and the value is hello all we need to do now is change this to post and you can see um, that we would have posted this value through as post data so hopefully this works let's click on submit and you can see we've got hello so now what we've done is we've achieved the whole point of the tutorial and we've posted some data um, through the using the post method but obviously that's not good enough what we're going to do is we're going to specify this to be um, the value of our text uh, box here so our text uh, input type here so we're going to say document dot get element by id that thing i struggled with so much earlier and uh, we're going to say text and then we're going to say dot value so remember what we oh no we don't need the princess so remember what we uh, essentially echoed out earlier so now what should happen is we should get this element by ID, which is text down here. We should grab the value of it and post it through to our update.ink.php. So it's a bit more dynamic now. So we can test the, uh, well, how dynamic this is. Let's just type in my name and click submit. And nothing's happened. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Okay, so the problem here is that I'm still in the uh, frame of mind uh, with PHP. Um, I need to start remembering we're coding in JavaScript now. So we're going to put a plus to append and not a dot. That's why it wasn't working. So uh, let's go back to our page and refresh. Uh, I'm going to type my name as I once did before. Click submit and we've posted this data through successfully. So whatever we type in here, uh, and we click submit, it's going to be posted through to our um, update.ink.php. So now in update.ink.php, we need to start connecting to our database in order to start putting the uh, data into this data field inside of our uh, table. So uh, let's just refresh the page so we can start again in a minute. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is connect to our database. Uh, there's other videos on connecting to the database. This isn't the greatest way to do it. Uh, we may retrieve errors, etc., etc., etc. So uh, refer back to my older videos to, uh, or other videos to have a look. So um, this takes three parameters. We need the host, obviously. 
we need the username and we need the password which for me is just blank at the moment and then we need to select our database so we've connected to our mysql server now we're selecting our database and this is called ajax so if we go back over to our, our mysql uh, sorry php my admin uh, our database is called ajax now what we need to do is check if this post variable called text has been set so we need to say if and we use the is set here and we say if is set post text do something and this something is going to be just for now echo out okay just to check that everything's working so let's go back here and type in Alex and click submit and we get an okay back here so we know that um, this value has been set